to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position T on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position N on the green scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. For knee flexion and extension we will need the knee stroke hip pad and the knee hip adapter. These are often left attached to one another. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. For the right knee rotate the chair to 40 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. For the knee, adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. For the prone knee position, adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. For the knee, adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. For the right knee rotate the dynamometer to 40 degrees on the black scale. Whilst also adjusting the height to 5. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 28. Now install the knee hip adapter. To use the knee hip adapter place the adapter into the long end of the input arm. Pull the locking pin to allow the adapter to fully enter the arm. Tighten the locking handle to secure. The position of the knee hip adapter can be read off the lower edge of the input arm, as can be seen here. Top tip. When applying the adapter for knee tests or exercises, start by setting it too high, as it is easier to lower onto the ankle. To attach the knee hip pad to the knee hip adapter. First choose to use either the long or short end. The different lengths account for TBL offset. Press the retaining button on the knee hip adapter, then slide the pad into position. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lay prone on the chair. Next adjust the monorail, so that the shin will contact the calf pad in the center. Now the axis of rotation needs to be set. The axis for the joint needs to be directly opposite the black dot on the input arm. The axis of rotation for the knee is the lateral femoral condyle, or the lateral joint line. The chair fore aft, and the dynamometer height may need adjustments to achieve the alignment. To position the calf pad adjust the pad until it rests on the top of the foot. The position should be consistent and should not limit the movement of the ankle. Secure using the strap. To check the axis of rotation and the position of the pads. Hold the calf pad next to the shin. Then extend and flex the knee manually. If the pad rubs up and down the shin the axis of rotation is wrong. Release the calf pad and reset the axis of rotation. 
Now attach the thigh strap to the leg to be tested. Top tip. Subjects prefer the strap tight, however, an overly tight strap can affect the results. Pull the strap to tension, but do not leave her into place. Finally, if required, attach the lap belt by looping around the chair handles. The subject may also use the long handles on the chair back to aid stability.